Hey guys, Dave here from Easy Country Cooking and Cooking Share. You know what? Fall is in the air and the chill is just chilling the bones. So I decided to make me up some minestrone soup. Easy, ever so delicious. You are going to love this, so let me show you how to do it. Okay, I'm going to throw a couple of tablespoons of oil into a pot over medium-high heat. And I'm using a fairly large pot here. You can also use a Dutch oven. Follow this by a small chopped onion. Just a white onion's fine, but you know, you can use whatever onion you have on hand. Three cloves of garlic if you like garlic. I'm a garlic lover, as you know. Then a medium-sized cubed up carrot. And a stalk of chopped up fresh celery. Then just go ahead and stir this around and saute it until that onion and garlic become fragrant and those carrots and celery begin to tenderize. And I say this in every video, but this is beginning to smell good. It's beginning to smell like soup. After all that wonderful magic has happened, we're going in with four cups of beef stock. You can also use vegetable stock if you like. I just like beef stock. The flavor's a bit more intense. Then grab up a couple of bay leaves and just go ahead and toss these in. Now we'll just bring this to a boil. After a boil, I'm going to add in 400 milliliters or 14 ounces of crushed tomatoes. A can of rinsed and drained kidney beans, because you want to get that scummy stuff off there. That's why I rinse them anyway. And these are, of course, red, in, in case you didn't notice. Then about a cup of noodles. Now, I'm using shelled noodles, but, you know, you can use macaroni noodles. The noodles of your choice, whatever you have on hand. Because I think minestrone means actually vegetable and pasta soup, whatever it might be. And one other thing I did have that I'm going to throw in, now this is totally optional, is some chopped up asparagus. It kind of adds a nice touch to the soup. Good old aspergasses, I heard somebody say it once. Of course, we're going to season this up with about a teaspoon or so of salt, followed by a couple of teaspoons of ground black pepper, about a teaspoon of dried basil. You can use fresh too. I just find it a little bit overpowering if you use too much. Then, of course, one of my all-time favorites, because it is an Italian soup, a couple of teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Then we'll just give this a stir around and everything is starting to come together. And that's a great thing about soup. That smell just permeates the air, that incredible smell. Here I go with smell vision again. You know, it's funny, I read a comment in the last video and it said, I just hate the way he talks. Well, um, how am I supposed to respond to something like that? Let me know in the comment section below. Of course, we let our soup simmer away for about 15-20 minutes, and just look at this. Doesn't this look incredible? And the smell, oh, I mean, the aroma has just permeated the kitchen. Of course, it is time to grab up the old ladle and ladle this into a bowl, and just look at that steam coming off on a cool autumn day. Oh my goodness, or even a winter's day. Can you just imagine how good this is going to be? Of course, serve this up with some Italian or French bread, maybe even some garlic bread. I think that might be okay. You let me know what you think. And there you have it, guys, our easy minestrone soup. You are absolutely going to love this. Leave it in the fridge for a few days. I think you could even freeze this. I think it might be okay. But you spoon this up and bite into it. It is one of the most delicious comfort foods I have ever had. Like I say, great for a cool autumn or even a cold winter's day. So go ahead and make it up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Give us a like because it does really help out the channel. And most of all, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.